Recently, I've been suffering from burnout. A few months ago, something inside of me snapped. I started to feel a void in my desire to script, edit, or really do anything video related. It got to the point where I had to summon every ounce of willpower I had just to even think about making a video. For me, I never imagined that something that I had so much fun with in the past could feel so empty. However, one week ago, something changed. Somehow, almost out of nowhere, I felt excited again to create. It was like a massive ray of sunshine broke through a very dark and gloomy cloud that's been hanging over my head for the past few months. I felt the creative passion again that I had a long time ago, and all it took was a push and a shift in the way I thought about things. I wanna share with you exactly what this push and shift was and how I ended up recovering from burnout, but I think it'll be more helpful if you understand how I got burned out in the first place. So let's rewind a bit. About one year ago, I started to shift my content from personal improvement to tutorials and guides on how to create videos. This was because the video that got me the most subscribers and views on my channel was a tutorial-based video. It seemed like a strategically smart and sound move at the time, but it was completely motivated by numbers. Over time, while working on these videos, I noticed that they hardly got any views. It was a serious blow to my motivation, and at first I told myself, it doesn't matter. I was in it for the long run. But it turns out, it did matter, because I eventually slowed down to a complete stop. That's why I haven't made a video on this channel for over six months now. It's a very simple lesson to understand. If I'm only creating for the sake of views, more subscribers and income growth, and I don't see that growth, I begin to question, why am I even doing this? I don't really like it that much, and I'm not really growing as a person from it or learning any skills I want to learn. And when I look back at these videos, will I be proud of them? I honestly feel like I just wouldn't care. This was pre-burnout. I basically called it a break. During my break, I still created videos for other things, mostly for Skillshare. My goal for Skillshare is to get $1,000 a month for one payout, so I worked very hard on a new class. It's called Audio Engineering 101, Microphones for Beginners. And I thought that it came out pretty well. I was glad that Skillshare thought so too, because my class got featured on their website and it got a staff pick, which was truly a nice surprise. That month, my Skillshare payout was $800 and it it appeared like I was getting really close to my goal, so I was relieved and motivated to continue. However, as I created more lessons, the payout for the next month became $750 and then $360 after that. After seeing those numbers, I snapped. I stopped working on Skillshare completely. I could no longer convince myself to keep going with making videos that I just didn't feel anything for. What little energy that kept me going completely left. At this point, I reached full burnout. I thought I felt some sort of burnout at different stages in my life, but this felt completely different. It felt like I had zero will to do anything that's related to video, whether it's editing, scripting, or whatever. Back then, even when I did feel slightly burned out, when a friend talked about working on a video together or a collaboration, I would feel excited and extremely willing to make it happen. During this burnout, I still worked on videos with other people, but I just felt nothing. If anything, I felt like it was an annoyance to have to edit in the end. I was definitely not myself, and I noticed that the effects of burnout bleeded into other areas in my life. There was just a, a void and hollowness in me. And during all my breaks in the past, it's never felt this empty. Not to mention, I still feel guilty for not moving forward with my plans for Skillshare, but on the bright side, I also felt a sense of relief that I'm not forcing myself to do something I find little meaning in. About one month in a full burnout, I decided to try and make a personal video. An important friend's birthday was coming up, so I made an original piano piece, recorded it, and then I sent it to her. I actually found myself enjoying the process and her positive reaction after seeing it helped spark something in me. I realized that I still enjoy making videos. It just has to be the right type and for the right reasons. 
It has to be meaningful to me and also meaningful to someone who's watching it. My friend made my creation feel worth something beyond numbers. From there, I began to feel like I was gathering energy to push myself out of burnout. And amazingly, about a week later, I received an email that I got into Ali Abdel's part-time YouTuber Academy through their scholarship program. I had applied for it without really thinking that I would actually be accepted. So it was a really nice surprise. And that was the push, an external force that I actively sought that could bring out what was already inside of me. Creating is a part of me, and if I'm not creating something meaningful to me, I feel off, I feel wrong. And I believe that feeling was what led to burnout in the first place. A course is a great external push, but it still wasn't quite enough to get me out of burnout. I was more so in a state of panic rather than excitement to create. I've been wanting to return to this YouTube channel for a while, but what always stopped me was figuring out what kind of content I wanted to make. I feel like for me personally, I have just so many interests and things that I wanna do that it's hard to just choose one. But this time around, instead of just thinking about ideas and not doing anything with it, I was committed to making something happen. Unfortunately, while brainstorming, literally this week, something shifted in the way I saw things. Why don't I just combine everything I'm interested in and that I'm passionate about? I've already been writing articles on the medium, practicing my storytelling on meaningful things, which is basically like scripting. And I have an interest in getting more into the artistic side of video, so that make for perfect B-roll. I love music and I want to get good at producing, so why not make music for my videos instead of just using music I find online? This simple idea of combining everything that I love and my interests got me really excited. From there, I just kept thinking about it, locking on to the idea. The more I thought about it, the more I just felt like this is something I really want to try. Then I just decided, let's do it. Amazingly, I felt like the feelings of emptiness and burnout we're gone from there. It sounds too easy, but I promise you that in terms of motivation and excitement to create, me at this moment and me a month ago are worlds apart. Just one push and one shift in your mind can change so much. I wanna add one last thing that's vital to this story. During my full burnout stage, I got to socialize a lot with family and good friends. They reminded me that I wasn't alone. I think it shouldn't be underestimated how important this was to keeping me sane, laughing, and enjoying life. It was a huge source of strength to keep trying, not only for myself, but also for them. Another thing that really helped was that near the transition between burnout and excitement, I had a talk with a close friend that allowed me to resolve some negative past experiences and feelings between us. It meant a lot to me to finally get that closure and it feels like I'm freer and just lighter. I know for me, there was a fair amount of luck in play. I really wasn't expecting to get into Ali's course. My good friend's birthday just so happened to be a month after I fully burned out. And the talk with my friend was somewhat spontaneous. But at the same time, I chose to apply for the course. I chose to make my friend music. And I chose to talk about past experiences that didn't make me feel very good. And thankfully, somehow at the end of everything, I feel like I've finally recovered from burnout and that I'm back. In summary from my story, here are the things that helped me recover from burnout. Number one, taking a break from creating for the numbers. Number two, deciding to create things that are meaningful to me. Number three, acting on external opportunities, whether it's making something for someone else or finding external forces to push you to create again. Number four, knowing myself, what I love and my interests, and then brainstorming ideas that excite me based on that. Number five, seizing that moment of inspiration and acting on it as soon as possible. Number six, staying connected with friends and family. Number seven, getting closure from something important from the past. And number eight, choosing to fight the burnout instead of letting it win. These were the things that helped me with the burnout that I had. I know that everybody's different and there are certainly different levels of burnout as well, but hopefully you can learn and gain something from my story. If you have a story related to burnout that really helped you come back from it, please feel free to share it in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. I'm looking forward to making videos again on this channel and implementing my ideas over time. For now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.